Hello. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm so excited. Got Seven are finally having a comeback. Um, they've been teasing Present You all week, actually like all month, all year. Um, I found myself watching Yug Yum's Cute Moments yesterday on YouTube. Is that why it's all I get recommended on the homepage? Today we're going to react to Got Seven's Lullaby MV. It's just come out, literally... 400,000 views already. Half an hour ago this video came out. Just going to comment real fast. It feels like it's been a lifetime since Got7 have had their second in the limelight and I'm ready for it because they are the makers of bops, they deserve more screen time and I'm there for it. I haven't seen any of the teaser stuff just so you know, no. deliberately. That was like, I'm not going to look. Each track, which I think is actually quite unique, mind you, Luna did it. It's like their, sing their single songs are different. Let's just watch this then. There's no captions so we'll look for lyrics afterwards. Oh, some strong choreo already. Ah, oh, looking good. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I think it was in Mark's MV, these lights came on. Record shop, he's having a browse. Pastels. Fan of pastels. Ooh. A look. Mirage Records. That reminds me of the film. Oh my god, it's Harry Potter. Oh my god, it's literally Harry Potter. Is it a full Anglia? Hi. Hi. I'm liking this so far though. I feel like I'm in an American outback. Americans don't have an outback. Oh, that is sick. Ooh, I love the shirt. <gasps> Reading is the path to knowledge. Enlightenment, you could say. Oh, Jackson. Ooh. I've been waiting for them to come out with such a good song, and this is it. The mohawks are back in force, and I'm not hating them. Is that bad? Bam, bam, coming through there. What's behind the bookshelf? Oh, space. No. I love the black and white. Faithful says on this top. I am expecting Hogwarts Express just to pull up behind the full down gear that's flying through the air right now. Ooh. So it's all like their dreams, isn't it? The visual is really strong on this and I'm happy for it. Like, ooh, that reminds me of Just Right, the little characters. We love a smeg. So what's... Don't eat cheese before you go to bed. Nightmares. Or beer, probably. Ooh, ooh, styling. This is a good song. The chorus is so good. It's brought together all the little individual videos. Oh, I like it. This reminds me of Spider Man. Subway. There's a lot to break down in this. There's so much. Well, oh maybe the Harry Potter scene. Hedwig. Third album. Promo. He's dreaming of the third album and now it's here. This is strong. Oh, loving the dance, yes. Oh, it wasn't a train that pulled in, it was a bunch of stereos. Nice. It's, it's a fantasy, it's his dream. They're living their dream. Ooh. Loving that. Come on. So maybe his dream is Harry Potter, he fantasises, it is magic. magic. Maybe it's just magic, magic. rather than Harry Potter, because it's copyright. Me, the audience. I think I like Bam Bam scenes the most. This was a really nice video. I'm ready. It's all in their mind. Because it's their dreams. Present you. Is it more? I am very happy for that to be such a good video. I was expecting kind of, my problem with Got7 is they've not had a, a banger for a while and I don't think it's their fault. I think it's that they're not being prioritised. Well, you had like, Never Ever for me was one of the top ones. Just Right, everyone loved, but I'm like, it's okay, it weren't my favourite. And I was waiting for them to come back with a strong, and there's like, 
I just stream no, no, no. If you read some of the comments, it's so good. I got seven. Keep streaming to hit 15 million views in 24 hours. Fighting! I'm here to stream. I'm gonna have it and repeat. I think with that video, and this, if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know that I'll say this every single time. I love some deep meaning, some metaphor, and I feel like there was some of that being delivered here, especially with the Mirage record store. No the lyrics yet. That sucks. Footsteps turning to flowers. There was also the um, lying on the books, pushing down into space. Maybe the space was enlightenment. It's more love songy than I thought it might have been. Actually, by the end of it, they were still doing their individual thing that wasn't actually reunited apart from the dance scenes. Lullaby is particularly special because it has recorded in four different languages. Korean, Spanish, Chinese. They put Spanish twice. Do they mean like Portuguese? Maybe they meant English? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they meant Korean, Spanish, Chinese and English. As an expression of love and gratitude to the fans they were able to perform for on their recent world tour, which I didn't get tickets to. Yeah. The Deep. single is an urban, deep house influenced pop track with lyrics expressing a dream like love. In the song's music video, the boys are seen each having their own individual dreams, from driving around in flying cars, my dream, to discovering secret worlds. One point, and a lot of people are commenting it on the video, it is Young Jay's birthday, um, so what a way to celebrate by releasing a comeback. HBD. I feel like he won't be resting though. No. Well, no, because, oh no, he'll be performing now. When are they, when are they doing it live? When's the next, have they done it live They'll yet? probably do it on Mnet, won't they? Have they done it yet? No, not yet. No, they'll do it, it over the weekend. I want to know, what are your theories? Was there any deeper meaning that I completely missed? Probably. I think it's just about being in a dreamlike state, realising your dreams, everything being dreamy. It's a skatist. Dream, dream, dream. Harry Potter in a car. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can always subscribe. It's really easy to do because, you know, why not? It's a button. Make sure you give the video a like and also comment down below your favourite member of GOT7 and we'll see you again next time. And why? Give me justification. Don't just say Mark. I want to know why. Go and stream Lullaby. Bye. Ciao.